The Oregon Rail Heritage Foundation presents What Makes a Steam Train Go? A steam train runs on steam. To make steam, you need fire and water. Fuel to burn and water are both stored here in the tender behind the engine. A steam train is a boiler on wheels. To make the steam to drive the train, the fireman lights the firebox where the fire will burn to heat all the water. The 4449, the big orange train, uses recycled motor oil for fuel. Other steam trains have used wood or coal to heat the water. When the water is very hot, it becomes steam. So a little bit of blower, a little bit of atomizer, we bring on the fuel. Then we'll adjust some atomizer, just some, watch what's going on in our firebox. Adjust this. More water is added as needed by opening valves in the cab. As water becomes steam, it expands and fills more of the boiler. When the pressure in the boiler is great enough, it collects at the top in a steam dome. The steam pressure in the dome is forced through a tube down to the cylinder. The high pressure steam in the cylinder forces the piston in the cylinder to push the drive rod that turns the big wheels. The train starts to move. With the SPNS 700 undergoing its 15 year boiler rebuild, and her outer jacket and insulation removed, we see the path of the water on its way to becoming steam. The smoke and the heat, which are back in your firebox, come through these flue tubes. And as they, it comes through the flue tubes, it's heating the water, dispersing the heat in the boiler. And the smoke comes out and goes out through your chimney here. The, water when it's heated it goes up to the steam dome and from the steam dome it comes back down recirculating through the superheater tubes and at that point it goes from 300 degrees to 800 degrees as it goes through the tubes and superheats the steam. So the superheated steam comes through the throttle body through the pipes this way you can see the bulge in the casting comes and it's delivered first into the valve. This is the valve inside here. This is the cylinder right here. And they work together. It's a double acting piston. And what that means is the steam pushes both sides as it's admitted and exhausted like this. And that's how you get the chuff, chuff, chuff sound where the steam is then converted into mechanical energy. Steam not only turns the wheels, it blows the whistle. Thank you for visiting the 4449, the big orange train here at the Oregon Rail Heritage Center. If you're viewing this online, visit us soon at 2250 Southeast Water Avenue in Portland, Oregon.